Can you dig it, sucker? You are listening to the Hall of Fame. Here's Booker T and Brad Gilmore. Hey, you, you brought up JBL. I wanted to ask you real quick. He made his return to uh, WWE television. JBL is now a, uh, a, uh, a manager, a mouthpiece for Baron Corbin, whom, by the way, I actually thought was a pretty decent uh, guy on the promos as well. But JBL, another, another uh, step above. But uh, they're, they're together now, and JBL's calling Baron Corbin the modern-day wrestling god, right? Um, yeah, yeah. What do you think of JBL being back on the show? Do you like this pair of him and Corbin? I do like it. Um, I like it for, you know, I like it for, like, for more than just one reason. Of course, I'm, I'm happy John is back on television. You know, John's always been a great talker. He's always been a great businessman. He's always known um, how to go out there and get – like not just get generate like some of the most tremendous heat anybody that ever did this um um um, this business so i I like i like that and i do like it because um baron corbin hell of a talent he really is agree no i'm serious he's a hell of a talent but baron has been missing something to really get him over i'm talking about that hump that he needs to get over he's good Take nothing away from him. Every, every, uh, he checks off every box. But as far as being able to really get over, I've been wondering what it is that Baron Corbin needs. And, and this could be it. Um, so let's see how it play out. Yeah, I think that Baron, um, to me, has always been over. Like, I've always, like, in these last couple of years, like, I've, I've liked his work. And I think that he's one of those cases of, of the real ones know, right? Like, you, you hear any of his peers bring him up in interviews. They talk about how great he is, how he's a real heel, how he generates the great heat. Um, also, his end of days, I think is the name of his uh, finish, one of the most protected finishes in all of wrestling up there with the brogue kick and the pedigree and, and, and things of that nature. So for him, though, I think as far as the fan base, the wrestling fan base, the general fan base, it's always been lacking just a little bit to get him to the next level. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think a guy like JBL, you're right. There is no one who can generate uh, more heat than a JBL can. I've seen him do it for two decades plus. You've known him your entire career. When he gets control of that microphone, he knows how to make people feel a certain way, especially he's an expert at making people not like him. Right. Yeah. yeah, Um, yeah. He's always been great at that. I remember when he was doing his run as WWE champion on SmackDown. I could not stand that man. I could not stand him. Um, And so for those reasons, I love the pairing. I would have never thought of it. I don't know what Ryder said. Hey, what if we put JBL and Baron together? Like, I don't know where this idea came from. I don't know if JBL pitched the idea, but whoever it is, I'm, I'm willing to see where it goes. I don't know if it's going to set the world on fire, but I'm excited for it, oh, and I want to see where it goes. I think um, this could um, set Baron Corbin in a, the right trajectory that he needs to go on. I think it's a great launching pad to get Bar- Baron Corbin to to be looked at as that modern day JBL. Uh, but he's going to have to he's going to have to pull it off. You know what I mean? John was able to work magic because. Only move you ever remember John ever doing is a clothesline. Oh, you don't remember, you don't remember much other than John hitting you with that clothesline and him being in a good fight and him, him getting the hell beat out of him. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's the only thing you remember. Um, as far as John, you don't remember him doing a whole lot of flips or anything. All you remember him, him doing is fight, <laughs> but 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 fighting to the point to where he made the fans believe. That man, this guy, he really is a wrestling god. He, he believes it. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, I think that that could definitely um, set Baron Corbin in that right trajectory he needs to go on. Yeah, man, I I, I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, where he goes. I do like, somebody pointed out in the chat, I think he said, I think he called the crowd sweat hogs um, yeah. on Monday night. Uh, uh, Judd? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's a great old school promo that's, thing. That's, that's going all the way back. That's, that's like, like a Rick I Rude. Like, that was like me talking about Ernie Ladd um, this week on NXT. 
about 97% of the NXT roster went, who? <laughs> they did the same thing on this show when you said Bum Phillips. <laughs> Look here. That, that, that's, what, that's what they need to go do to history. Okay. Right. Oh, 100%. That's what, they need to, that's what they need to go do to history. Because if you don't know about that boy, Ernie Ladd, and, and like I said, a man that's, like I said, when he's paid to do a job, because when you paid, when you are paid to do a job, what are you going to do? What are you supposed to do? You're going to do that job well. You do that job well. Can you dig it, sucker? You are listening to the Hall of Fame. Here's Booker T and Brad Gilmore.